Hey, how you doing? What's going on? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Life and Transitions Experts podcast that is also live in our Facebook group, Life and Transitions Experts, and on the YouTube channel, Life and Transitions Experts, L-I-T-E. Let your light shine. Here, this channel is dedicated to helping professionals spread the word about the work they're doing, helping people going through the biggest transitions in their life, specifically probate, estate planning, and helping loved ones, senior loved ones, find that new home. My opportunity is to help folks when they have property uh, involved in those situations, come up with viable solutions that can help them either unlock the equity or secure the equity in the property to help uh, reach their uh, state family planning goals, perhaps their probate goals, as well as perhaps helping them with finding secure space and housing for a loved one. So there are a lot of challenges that are a part of these conversations and these podcasts are designed to help uh, really help me dig deeper into these topics and help you. Uh, hopefully, if it's a topic that's uh, that's quite often searched or quite often needing to be addressed, you'll see this channel and the things we're providing here as a resource. So that was really awesome. So let's see. So let me share my screen. And today we're actually looking in the senior living world again and we're going to discuss what are some of the things that impact the cost of senior care as we know it's a beautiful thing that we all are living longer uh, technology and everything has really advanced and helped us uh, live longer and which is causing challenges for our population as we live longer um, it's creating awesome opportunities as well as more human beings get to interact and do awesome things in this world. Um, but again, there still are challenges just to daily living. Um, and with home, Mom's House, I'm very excited about being a senior transition specialist. I'm a probate specialist as well. And in both those situations, it is a matter of, it's a process, not a end goal. It's an opportunity for me to continue to learn and to continue to grow. But what we do is really help people with the house and the stuff. If there's families having a hard time, figure out how to pay for their their loved one's care. And there's perhaps property involved. There's opportunity for us to talk and to see um, if there's some, like I said, viable solutions. So what impacts the cost of senior care? There are really three things we're going to look at today. And this comes directly from a uh, shout out to Ben Rayu and Philip uh, Finson from Mom's House, a great book, Paying for Long-Term Care, The Essential Guide to Understanding and Funding Senior Care by Ben Rayu. I have a signed copy. Awesome folks, awesome work that they're doing at Mom's House. Um, and that's taken directly from here. But three things that impact cost of senior care are level of care, the location and the amenities. So again, level of care, that should make sense, right? So there are there are communities, and I discussed this in the past podcast about the types of communities, but there's communities that provide a continuum of services from all the way from very independent living where you're really just surrounded by an affinity group of community members of like age, all the way to very uh, detailed, skilled nurses, that are uh, supporting and accompanying you on a, just doing your daily functions. And those campuses, those services, those programs allow for you or someone to step in at the level they need and gradually go to spaces that they may need as time goes on and as care, level of care may be, uh, needs to be um, increased. Of course, the more care is provided, quite often, more often than not, then the more uh, it's going to cost. So the level of care is an impact. The location, 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 location. If you're in a more metropolitan area, then you're going to, or metropolitan, is that the right word? Yeah, yeah more city, area that's like a city, you're going to cost, it's going to cost you more than a more rural area. For example, 12 months of care in a private one bedroom assisted living facility in Delaware averages about $80,000, $80,280 for a year. While in Missouri, which is less populated, it's averages 36,000. So, you might want to consider if your or your loved one or needs uh, that type of support to find areas that are nearby towns. If cost is is an issue for you, you might want to find a town that's a little uh, less populated and the cost could be uh, dramatically different. And that, that's, that's a huge impact on the pocketbook. And then amenities, right? All the extra services that come in. Some of these communities, a lot of them are just whew, 
so lovely. Just, just, I would definitely live there. And uh, so, but some of the factors that may be determining um, how costly it is uh, are here, are you're able to look at, you're able to control more because you can put these on as add-ons or takeoffs as, as needed, right? So for instance, one is like the size of the living space. Is this a semi-private or is this a fully private? Is it a studio? Is it a two-bedroom? Those are going to obviously uh, play a factor in the cost. I, also, the pet fees. How much are you paying? Or do you have pets? Do you need pets? And uh, yeah, that's going to cost extra. There's also services like janitorial attendant, like concierge services that may be provided in a lot of these communities. And that's going to cost more if you utilize those services. And then transportation. And here, actually, private transportation. There's so many awesome um, just programs and companies in, in, in private and in the public sector. But this is usually not that expensive. It's usually quite often offered for free or, better, or a very, very uh, nominal cost um, to the community. Now, if you're looking for more resources and more information about the cost of senior care, I definitely encourage you to go check out Ben Rayo's uh, website, payingforlongtermcare.com forward slash cost paying for longtermcare.com forward slash cost. And if you need help on um, figuring out solutions or unlocking some of the equity so that you can pay for long-term care, definitely reach out to uh, State Pro Service. Um, uh, number's there, 919-341-1992, statepro-service.com. I'm Courtney Rollins. I am the Senior Transition Specialist and really try to take a hard head and hands-on approach to helping you navigate the probate process. All right, so that's it right there. I don't think I have uh, anyone uh, chiming in. All right, other than that, I'm going to have a new sign off. I used to say rising tides. Now my sign off is going to be let your light shine. Life and transition experts. We're all in transition in this life. So let's let our light shine. Peace.